long has it been, boys and girls? Holy crap. Um, looking through things, it's about six months since I've done a YouTube video, which I've uploaded. So here I am. I am uh, coming back to the world in the new year of 2016. And uh, we got to talk about a few things, channel-related, YouTube-related, hobby-related. So let's, uh, without revealing what's, what's all, what all I'm going to talk about right off the get-go, um, let's just kind of launch into it. The first thing you might have noticed if you stumbled across this video is the channel is no longer called Kieran Dunleavy. It's not my name any longer. It is called Forge of Wonders. Um, so let me explain the reasoning behind this. It occurred to me when I was watching a video by, uh, by a pal of the, of the YouTube, Warhammer YouTubers, Hooves of Doom, that the title, given that it's just my name, could potentially be misconstrued uh, in a professional capacity. Um, the example that he gave and, and the way that I'm thinking of it is, is if, for example, uh, an employer or, or an employee or opportunity or someone in the professional world, um, as their practice is to do now, is to look up what you're doing on social media and, uh, and effectively Google your name and see what, see what they can read into you outside of, outside of it. Um, could stumble across my YouTube channel, obviously, if it's titled with me. And not that that's terrible, um, because I'm not generally embarrassed about the hobbies that I do and the endeavors that I am involved in. Um, but who knows what they might think, or, or who knows what associations they might have with, uh, with finding out that I do paint hangouts and you know say some bad words once in a while and that kind of thing. Um, so for that reason, mild bit of disconnect. Um, with that, uh, from what I understand of renaming the channel to the Forge of Wonders, it doesn't affect any of my YouTube's uh, videos that are st that are stored and saved on there. It doesn't affect any of the subscribers that have been uh, have been logged in, and you should still be able to to link to that as it always has been. Uh, let's hope that's true, because I don't want to lose any of that investment from the past few years. Um, now, speaking of community involvement, what I want to move into over the next year is to really get engaged a little bit more. Um, from what, so what I mean by this is doing these kind of talks with, with you folks to know what I'm up to um, is the start of it. Uh, following upon that, I am still going to maintain the YouTuber's involvement that I have in the past and maintain those commitments. Uh, the primary one, which, uh, which that is, is the, is the PMP League and doing the monthly reviews with Vince and, and Jeff Egan. Um, so I'm going to commit to that uh, and continue. Um, lined up over the next little bit, and we got to work out a date for this, is I'm going to join MC1 Gamer for some more unlocking videos because uh, I get the sense that he's sort of in the same light as me, meaning New Year is coming upon us and, uh, and it's time to relaunch and get engaged a little bit further. Uh, and I'll come back and talk about engagement again in a little bit. My absence is probably the other thing to speak of uh, as far as offerings to the PMP of things that I have done. Um, and I'll speak a little bit more broadly about this from a sense of looking back upon 2015. Comparatively to the prior two years of 13 and 14, my hobby turnout was really pretty light. Um, thinking back upon it, realistically, the only things that I had done in the early part of the year is paint a crew for Malifaux, um, fix up a couple of units and add some things to existing Warhammer armies in the early part of the year. And then when July and August hit, it almost totally dried up. Like thinking back upon it, the only two things that I've done is painted another Malifaux crew in August. I was a brewmaster. And then in November, I did a dystopian wars fleet of Antarcticans. That's it. That's all. Uh, I've thought about painting a number of times and just didn't get there. Like even this past weekend, um, I leading up to the weekend, I vowed to myself, I'm going to pull out the paints this weekend. I, I got some, uh, some Skaven Storm Fiends that have been sitting there assembled and primed for a long time, and they need some paint, and I just didn't get there. Um, so it's really been the hobby doldrums, and I was passing it off 
for the past few months just sort of saying, you know what, that happens to everybody. Uh, I'm sure that you, many of you who are viewing this right now have been there where there's just a stretch of time where you're not motivated, you're not inspired. Um, part of this for me was, was the demise of Warhammer and, and, uh, and no events to plan for, no new units to add to the forces that were there. I mean, all my armies that I had for Warhammer are pretty deeply fleshed out with several thousand points as it is already, so there was nothing new to inject into it, no, no new flavors, no new desires. Um, so that's a big part of it. Um, but a bigger part of it, I think, is that I, or, or maybe these sort of feed off one another, that because I wasn't hobby motivated, I wasn't engaging with the community, uh, I wasn't going to, to forums like I used to, like the Warhammer Forum, or, or the Under Empire for the Skaven, or you know a series of other ones that are that are more Warhammer related, um, and I largely got turned off of those because they started to just become uh, a sort of a cesspool of of argumentative things about Warhammer versus AOS versus Ninth Age versus Kings of War, and it was all adversarial stuff. So that's why I shied away from those and got away from that. So. That part I probably am not ready to get reinvolved in too much because I have a feeling it's still the same environment where it's argumentative stuff about which game is the best and why that one's crap and this one's better and etc. Um, so I can't promise you that I'm going to get involved back in that way. What I am going to promise though and what I really want to be encouraged to get involved in again is that PMP League. That is nothing but a positive environment. Um, and I'm so grateful to be associated with that and, and have the honor of, of joining, as I said earlier, with a couple of guys, Jeffrey and, and Vince, to do those monthly reviews. Um, if anything has sort of sparked the interest for me to paint stuff, it, it's that. It's, it's that continuing involvement. Um, but I need to be a contributor to that again, and, and that's what I'm going to endeavor to do. So I'm going to force myself for, for nothing else except for a sort of a, uh, not uh, well more more of a self imposed desire and uh and accountability i think to contribute to that p m p league that i that I review every month like i mean who am i to to be <laughs> reviewing all this stuff when uh when i don 't even contribute to it or haven 't recently contributed to it um, now there 's back to the back to the hobby doldrums a little bit i think that I am not in a position to say that I'm going to commit to doing a particular thing for, for any length of time um, because I think that in my hobby journey at the moment, I am still at that crossroads point of, well, what do I work on? Um, as I expressed earlier, Warhammer's died away. There's not so much to do to that. What I have explored, though, recently, and I probably will explore a whole lot more, is over the last year and a half, some Malifaux. And I have models sitting in the basement that, uh, that desire some paint. Um, and I have some interest in that. Um, I do have another few squads of Dystopian War stuff to do. Um, I have all kinds of Warhammer models, of course. But I think the direction I'm going to go with that is into Kings of War. I've got a few games under my belt of that. And I'm intrigued by it. I want to explore Kings of War more. So I guess what I'm saying is that through the diversification of that, I will paint whatever uh, occurs to me to be something cool at the moment. And then through that journey, what I hope is going to happen and what I think is going to happen is that I will focus on something, right? And then I'll stick with that and that'll become the way that I kind of get into regularity. But the way to do that initially, I think, is to force myself to do that regular painting. And it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's regular. Um, once a week, twice a week, whatever it takes to, to, to start that off, um, I'm hoping that regular involvement will relate to um, something that, uh, that, that grows upon that. Okay. Ultimately, my feeling about this is, is engagement is going to be progress. So that's the way that I would sum this up. I'm going to endeavor to engage more in the, in the Warhammer YouTubers. I'm endeavoring to do more with the PMP. Um, and I think that that will 
sort of ignite something as a smolder initially that may light fire because uh, God knows it. I got to get back into into the into the hobby routine instead of the hobby funk. Uh, so maybe in closing here, uh, to just uh, give me some encouragement, let me feed off the community and, and engage a little bit. For those of you that have watched it to this point, please give me your thoughts on times that you have been in a similar position and tiny triggers or, or, or small things that, that you have done that you found made a difference to get you reinvigorated and get you sparked back up again with that. Um, I would love to hear that because I'm sure that I will probably associate with some of those in at least a small way. And, uh, and that ideally will, will help me out and, uh, and be able to contribute more into the communities that, uh, that I'm involved in. So let me sign off for now. Thanks for listening through to this point. And uh, I sure hope that I'll be uh, seeing more of you and you'll be seeing more of me. Good day.